If you're taking Calc 3 right now, here's how to do a double integral with a change in variables. The first thing we want to do is plot this out. So if we do that, we'll see that this is a really weird shape, and it would be hard to integrate without changing our variables first. Then we want to rearrange our equations so we get variables on the left and numbers on the right. Then those two forms that we get for the x's and y's, we'll use those as our change in variables. And for our region R, that will just go in between the two sets of numbers that we have for each variable. For U, that'll be between 1 and 2. And for V, that'll be between 1 and 3. The next thing we need to do is figure out an equation for Y squared, which is in our integral. So if we work backwards, we can figure out that that is U times V. Then we can use our equation for our Jacobian. In this case, we're going to do 1 over the Jacobian. And if we do that, we'll get our Jacobian as 1 over 2 times V. Now let's erase all this stuff and just keep the stuff that we need, which is our equation for our Jacobian and for y squared. Now we can start to set up our double integral. So we started off with region r y squared dA. Now we can set up our double integral between our limits of u and v. Our y squared, we can replace that with u times v. And then our dA becomes the Jacobian times dv du. And when we integrate that, I'll skip all the steps here, but our final answer will be 3 over 2.